Hey everybody, Dave really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of the Charming Empire along Sarah's route. In the last episode, we debuted and immediately got engaged. So that was a really short waiting period. We are not happy about it either. Let's see if we can find out exactly who we got engaged to. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. <laughs> I lie on my bed with my face buried in my pillow to stifle my sobs. I came back to my room after the ball, but I'm not sure how I did it. Everything's a blur after I fainted on the ballroom floor. I did faint. Why is this happening to me? I don't even know who my fiancé is, much less why I have to marry him. And here I've been working so hard on my education and etiquette since she bought me to the capital. Endless tears pour down my cheeks. <sighs> I guess I fell asleep while I was crying. When I pull my pillow off my face, the morning sun is shining through the curtains. Are you awake? Oh, you didn't change? Are you still in that because you watched over me all night? Oh, Sarah. I turn around to see Sarah in the same suit he was wearing last night. Were you in the room this whole time? Of course I was. I'm your bodyguard. Ugh. Then he saw me cry. Oh no. I probably look awful after all that crying. I quickly hide my face in my hands. Um... It doesn't matter what I say, it doesn't seem... I'm gonna say um. Um, it's not what you think. Your eyes are swollen. I'll get the maids to bring you some ice later. He really did see me cry. I know he's being nice, but it's embarrassing he saw me cry. Do you want breakfast? I know you didn't get to eat at the ball. Even after the ball, I cried so much that I completely forgot about eating. I need to eat to keep up my strength. Can you bring me breakfast? I'll see that it's done. How about you get changed, too? Changed? Oh! It looks like Sarah's not the only one still in yesterday's clothes. What a mess. My dress is completely wrinkled, and in no state for another ball for a while. I'll call the maid so you can change before breakfast. I think I need a shower, too. Thank you. Sarah leaves the room. Sarah's kindness might just be part of his job as my bodyguard, but it still makes me happy. Who wouldn't like to be treated nicely? <sighs> Since I stay silent, the maid doesn't try to make conversation either. This is awkward. I need to say something. Is the dress okay? The maid continues to take my dress off as she answers in her usual calm tone. Don't worry, you'll never have to wear this dress again. I won't? We'll prepare a new dress for you, if there is another ball. Because I messed this one up? Oh no! We just can't have our princess wearing the same dress at a ball twice. I see. They'll think we're poor. I might have ruined this dress, but a new dress for every ball sounds like a waste. Maybe we can donate the used dresses to other people. Just curious, how much does it cost to make this kind of dress? You don't need to worry about that, princess. It's not cheap, right? Of course not. It's a dress made for the princess. I see. I let out a sigh. I was impressed by this dress when I first saw it, but it feels like a waste to make a new dress for the next time. But I can't argue if the maid says it's part of my position. The capital looks like a prosperous place, but I bet only a fraction of the people are rich. Yeah, that's everywhere. If I think about it, I doubt anyone has the kind of food I have at the palace served to them every day. I wonder if something like that can be changed. I don't know everything that's going on in the country, with only the limited education I've learned from my time at the palace. That should do, princess. The maid finishes taking off my dress and fitting me into my usual kimono while I think to myself, these are the most comfortable type of clothes. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. I'll bring breakfast shortly. Thank you. Sarah comes in with his usual kimono when the maid leaves the room. Sorry for making you wait so long. Time flew because I was thinking about so many things, but it must have felt like a long time for Sarah. It's not like I can come in when I wish. Sarah blushes awkwardly. Excuse me. What, did you wish to come in when I was changing? The maid pushes a cart with my breakfast foods. I sit down easily in a chair after changing out of my uncomfortable dress. Watching the maid set up breakfast on the table makes yesterday's ball feel ages away. Ah, the garden. Haven't been here in a while. I don't have class today, since the palace staff are busy cleaning up after the ball. 
I gazed lazily at the flowers in the garden. Are you having dinner with Lord Omazaki? That's not my choice, is it? Funnily enough, Sarah's the one to break the silence. But I just sigh. I don't really want to see him, but I need to hear about my marriage and ask about the fiancé he picked for me. Can it be Sarah? Maybe he picked Sarah. After all, didn't they say, um, palace guards and stuff have to be for noble families? I get depressed remembering there's nothing I can do to change my brother's plans. I just need to accept it already. You don't want to get married? Not to anyone but you. Sarah reads my mind after gazing at me for a while in silence. I can feel the kindness through his stoic words. I'm definitely not happy about it. I didn't think so. There's no need for you to leave the country in the first place. Huh? What do you mean? Sarah takes a piece of paper out of his kimono and unfolds it to reveal a chart. Look at this. What is it? A bunch of names are connected together. It's the royal's family tree. Family tree? My name is at the bottom of all the names. Lord Omazaki's name is missing. Now that you mention it, I don't see it either. Sarah's right. Soshi's name isn't on the chart. You see, you're the one who should lawfully be on the throne. What? Me? I shout in surprise. This isn't a joke. Sarah's completely serious. That's right. You're the one with the royal blood. Ah, so Soshi's not really my brother, and that's why he is a route, and it does not incest. Hooray! <laughs> that can't be true. The shock of it all puts me in a daze. If this is true... It doesn't make sense that I was sent to the countryside while my brother stayed at the palace. My head is so full of questions that I silently look at my feet. Even if this is true, and my brother's name isn't on the royal family tree, he's still the emperor. Sarah speaks to me seriously. Are you really okay with that? There's nothing I can do about it. Sarah's acting different today, and I don't know how to react. Well, I think it's time to throw a coup, everybody. Lord Amazaki has been keeping this a secret. If it leaks out, you might have a chance. Sarah looks serious, but the possibility that it might be a joke makes me laugh. <laughs> Very funny. I just started studying government and politics when I came to the palace. There's no way I could rule this country. But Sarah doesn't laugh back. I'm being serious. Well, you could choose just the right advisors, I guess. I can see a seriousness in his furrowed brow and angry look. Uh think about it. This is too much to take in at once. I need to think about it. Just when I think we're finished with the conversation, Sarah gives me a piercing gaze. It's so strong that I have to look away. To be honest, I never thought of ruling the country before. I've been in the palace since the previous reign and have a problem with Lord Amazaki's administration. I think the rightful heir should take over the throne. But... You have my sworn protection. I won't let anyone hurt you. I can't just laugh it off this time and find myself staring right back at Sarah. <sighs> Does he really think I should rule this country? But that's impossible. Soshi is so much more... My mind drifts. First, Soshi announces my engagement at the ball, and now Sarah claims I'm the rightful ruler of the throne. There's so much going on. I must be tired. But if I rule this country, no one can decide my fate for me. I can make my decisions for myself and marry Sarah! As I lose consciousness, I start to feel a glimmer of hope. Did I just pass out again? What the hell? Huh? I... When I wake up, the next thing I see is the top of the canopy over my bed. Are you awake? Sarah looks down at me from his seat near the bed. I think I need some more iron. Am I anemic or something? This is the same thing that happened when I started halberd practice. No, it's not, because you fell asleep during studying there. When I pushed myself too hard and fainted from overwork... My halberd lessons were cancelled. What happened? I haven't been doing anything physically draining. You have a cold. Ah, oh, that explains it, sort of. A cold? I was so unaware of my own sickness that I look at Sarah in surprise. I've never fainted when I caught a cold. Most people don't. My body must have gotten weaker since I came to the palace. I can't believe I fainted because I have a cold. Am I being poisoned? I smile wryly as I try to get up. Huh? I can't get up. My body feels as heavy as lead, and my face feels hot. You tired yourself out. You have a fever, too. You need your rest. 
Sarah has a towel and a basin of water beside him. I suddenly realize there's a heavy wet towel on my forehead. Did it get warm? I'll change it for you. Sarah rings out the towel near him. Thanks, Sarah. You don't have to do this. Well, it's in the job description. Really? <laughs> but this isn't the bodyguard's job. Sarah quickly replaces the wet towel on my forehead with a new one. Not that you can talk. I didn't become a bodyguard so I could be your dance partner. <laughs> I, I guess you're right. He must have really hated being my dance partner. I thought it was a lot of fun. Anyway, don't worry about it. Just rest. You need your health. Sarah tucks my quilts around me, just like the old woman in the countryside used to do. Sarah's the only one in the palace who would take care of me like this. It's so cute. It's sad to think about, but I'm glad he's by my side. Thanks, Sarah. I think I'll do that. I quietly close my eyes. I thought I had been sleeping well, but apparently not enough. There are a lot of things to think about, but I need a little more time. I'll make my decisions when I get better. I drift off to sleep as I try to pull my thoughts together. Well, I guess in the next episode we'll get to think about if we're going to try to overthrow my brother or not. That's certainly an interesting turn of events. And we still got a couple chapters left to go, so... Yeah, in the beginning, the episodes were short and stuff, so I thought this was going to be a short story. And from all accounts, uh, people have been saying this is kind of short, but... Actually, it seems pretty decent to me. It's not, it's not that, uh... Not as short as they were making it sound especially compared to the other Dogen Zaka titles. And it's definitely higher quality than their previous games have been. Well, anyway, hope to see you in the next video or some of my other ones, and I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. Do you really signing out? Bye-bye, everybody.